Hi guys, Will Turry here and this video is going to be called iPad Pro Drawing Review and I'm going to compare it to the Wacom Cintiq Companion. Um, so I'm mostly reviewing and let me just go ahead and right now you're seeing my Cintiq screen. I'm just going to go ahead and bring up the iPad Pro. I'm mostly um, going to be reviewing this for my students who are interested in knowing here's the iPad uh, Air and here's an iPhone to compare it to and basically um, I'm doing this because a lot of people are wondering can you use the iPad Pro as your all-in-one device so hopefully this will answer it for you I mean I can't answer that for you you're gonna have to answer it for you but hopefully in seeing what I'm gonna do here um, that will help make the decision for you if this is the device for you. Um, I'm not going to entertain the trolls, the I, the Apple haters, the uh, the people who are have been jilted by Apple. I am going to review the pencil and compare it to other devices. So let's just dive right in. Um, and right now you're seeing um, this is the iPad pencil right here. This is the Wacom. Uh, Cintiq stylus that goes with my Cintiq and then this is the bamboo or Wacom bamboo stylus that they that I had bought um, and was using before prior to this with the I, iPad Air one of the problems right away um, with the pencil is that oh you know what I forgot to mention I'm also going to be doing um, some uh, tutorials for svslearn.com and I'll put links to that below um, tutorials in Procreate on how to use the iPad Pro um, to create artwork for like children's books and things like that. Um, and so you you might want might be interested in that. Check us out at svslearn.com. Um, that's my little shameless plug. And anyway, uh, so the problem with this is when you choke up on it, you always feel like like this thing is going to go right in here, right? and and so it's just not gonna work as well the thing I really like about this pencil is that it's just got some nice length to it right and just fits in your hand really nice now a lot of people have also said uh, gosh I wish they had made it fat and beefy like this um, like and, and with the soft so you know it can draw forever I you know what I like this size and I like this size I, I didn't notice because I did a long uh, 10 hour drawing on the iPad Pro with this and it never got to where I was wishing it was thicker or fatter or anything so um, yeah I don't I don't mind that at all um, one of the drawbacks that you will find that people are talking about as a drawback with the iPad pencil is there's no eraser this is not an eraser it's a charger on the end here and um, you actually it kind of magnetically just kind of fits there Apple's kind of proud of their little innovations there I'm going to ditch this. I'm going to ditch this. We're going to zoom in a little closer in just a second, but I just wanted to show before I do. Um, I noticed a lot of people complaining about how you charge this, and what you do is you just plug it in to the charger, and it is kind of dumb looking, and it just kind of sits there. Um, there, what, there is a review on YouTube. If you look for it, it's a stress test on the iPad Pro, and they basically try to break this off. And I mean, they had to exert a lot of force to actually get this to break. Um, I wish it came with its own charger, but that's a small... I don't have small kids anymore. And so uh, I can set this up in my studio and it's not going to get banged or bumped into. But I, I think if you have one of these and you have kids or somebody that can come along, you ought to find a safe place up high where you can plug it in so bad things don't happen. Um, you can get a... If you plug it in for about 15 minutes, I think you get a 30 minute charge out of it or something like that. I've just let it charge overnight and it's, it does fine. Um, okay, so um, let's zoom in and then I'll come right back and we'll start doing some drawing on here. Okay, so we're zoomed in now. Let's just get this turned on. You can see my password here. Um, okay, so we're in Procreate and uh let's see hopefully this camera focuses there we go um one thing i forgot to mention <laughs> 
is that the tutorial I'm going to do for SVS is going to be out in January, early January 2016. Okay. Um, okay, so let's let's play around with this. Um, here we are in Procreate, and I'm just going to grab. I got the HB pencil here, and I'm going to try to just go through this kind of like as if you were doing it yourself. So I'll, I won't go too fast. I saw some of the reviews and they just seem like they went really fast. It has really nice palm rejection. So I can draw, right? And I don't get any marks over here, which is really nice. I don't have to wear a glove. Unless I want my hand to slide more. I really do like how there is a lot of surface area so that you really can, you know, you really feel like you can draw and you've got enough surface. Um, I might also mention, I keep doing these things out of order. I've got it in the case simply because it actually fits on my desk and won't slide off. So that's why I've got the, the case on it right now. Um, and I will put a link to that. I got it on eBay for um, about $17. Problem with all the cases that I saw early on, no pen holder. And I'll just show you, you don't, I'm gonna do an aftermarket thing. This is actually my, from the iPad. And I'm just gonna show you this really quick because I think these things matter. Um, Look at this wonderful pen holder here. Look at how this thing flops around. Look at that. And it will it would catch on things in my bag and it would twist backwards. You know, it's it's horrible. So if if you have an iPad case that comes with one of these, it's worthless. Especially for the fact that the the Apple Pencil doesn't even have a clip. So I am going to actually take mine. This is a pretty nice case. I'm going to take it to a um, upholstery shop and see if they can um, put a nice little uh, series of loops bands or if they have some kind of a solution and I'll I'll show you if I get something done okay so uh, really nice that you can you can get really nice soft and, and I was on the edge there I'll, I'll show that in a second but I can get really nice subtle blends and as I increase the pressure just a little bit at a time it really goes more now I've got a gray selected but what happens if we have black um, really light drawing and then adding a little bit of pressure a little bit more you know and so the the glass is is it, or the pressure sensitivity built into the pen and the glass I find really nice there's no lag. I could not get this thing to lag at all. There's just none. In fact, there's less lag on this, if you can even tell any, than there is on my Cintiq. I feel a lot more lag on that on this expensive Cintiq. Um, so, so yeah. Um, and let's just undo these real quick. Just a double t uh, finger tap on Procreate, and then um, let's let's try the side as I as I go down there it seems to be like there's two levels of side pressure so let's get down there's one and it does kinda of jump in there which isn't isn't the best thing in the world so you have let's just rotate I'm rotating down slightly there it kicks into the side and then there's one more thicker one now the cool thing is there still is pressure sensitivity when you're working on the side so it allows you to you know work a work a drawing and hold the pencil like you would if you were doing some figure drawing or something one thing that's that's a little disheartening on and I don't know if this is procreate or not I haven't uh, tried enough apps so I would love to to hear um, in the comment section um, but you know if you had if this was a actual pencil on a piece of chalk you know you could go that way with it but if you pushed it this way you know it would leave a thinner line and that was a little disappointing that it didn't respect that you know it's got this bulbous thing and it, you know if we move to another one I think it's it's gonna do the same thing the HB pencil and um, the graphite shading so we still with that you get more of a tip here and then when you go down you get a bigger fatter thing and again this is nice because it it can build up you know you can you can get some really nice gradients with this but again 
you know, you, you, I just haven't found um, that you can um, use the side. And in fact, the side for me is kind of a gimmick. Using the, the side of the pencil is sort of gimmicky, except for the fact that you really can do some nice um, sensitive line drawings. Like again, like if you were, you know, blocking something in. So, you know, if I were to try to draw um, something like, I'm just going to look at a, a piece of reference of a chicken here, you know, and so if, if I were just kind of blocking this in, you would, it's, it's really kind of neat that you can actually do this digitally, I think. Um, And then you can, after you start to kind of get your your stuff in there. Another another drawback that that this thing might have, some people will talk about, is, uh, or I already mentioned it, is no eraser. And so that is kind of a, a bummer because kind of you know you might want to turn around and do a little bit of erasing, but all you have to do is look, go up here and grab the eraser, you know, and you can start erasing. You can even erase with the same. Um, the same texture you know so you can choose and that's what I like about it is if you if, if you want to keep that same texture that you have just start erasing and you and it feels like you're erasing with paper so that's one of the reasons why I think procreate has done so well and why so many people really really like procreate uh, oops um, another thing that I might mention uh, I don't. I don't think I mentioned this before. The glass, the glass is not as easy to draw on. I mean, I find that if I ha if I if I anchor my uh, my hand, I can actually I can actually draw with it. You know. Um, but it is really slip sl slick slippery slickery, and that's kind of can be annoying a little bit you know so I'm not gonna finish this out but I'm just trying to show enough you know if I wanted to put some some feathers in there I could kind of go for that first side position and kinda of hit that up in there somebody asked me a really good question the other day and they said um, <laughs> they said well why why try to be like paper why not just draw on paper and uh, that's a great question I mean it's so obvious right I mean like we already have paper and I would say um, that the biggest reasons is that you have you, you know you have a level of control uh, that you don't have with paper and you have some tools that you don't have with paper and there's a lot of tools but for me, you know, undo is huge. You know, being able to undo strokes that you don't like. If you get to, to a point in your drawing that you don't like what's going on, you can back up to where you were. I think Procreate has like 250 levels of undo, so it's quite a few, right? Um, another one is zooming in so that I can actually work on uh, a piece and, and really, you know, fix it and fiddle with it. Um, I'm going to do another more a tighter drawing um, in a little bit uh, at the end. I, I thought I'd get through the review stuff first and then kind of do another drawing. But um, the lasso tool and you know allows me to to grab things if I if I don't like where the position is on something you know I can grab it and and just adjust it a little bit um, and then redraw that area maybe lightly erase the the mark that was left or something and then redraw. Um, uh, and then layers, you know, being able to work in layers and, uh, it, you know, um, I'm going to talk about that a little bit later, the layers and stuff. So I want to keep going on with the, uh, the review part of this, the, the hardware. Um, so, um, the surface, I, I think I talked about, um, the size of the iPad, I think is great. 
um, the the thickness of it you know it's in this bulky case right now but it is really thin it's the same thinness as the iPad Air um, and um, again the glass is a little slippery um, but it does handle really nice file sizes now I bought the um, the iPad the the lower version the the 32 gig um, but you can also get the 128 um, I don't some people have said you know why not get the bigger one the thing is I'm not gonna I don't need to buy Apple memory <laughs> I don't I don't want to pay for their premium cost on memory if I if I draw something I really like I'll just I'll just ship it off I'll just mail it either upload it to Dropbox or mail it to myself or something email it um, you know but I don't need I don't need to store a lot of stuff on here so that's I wanted to save a little money so let's compare to um, let's compare it to the uh, the Wacom companion the the Cinti companion so battery life on this Apple says about 10 hours some people will say if you have the full brightness and you have a lot of things going on Wi-Fi and stuff it doesn't quite give you 10 hours um, I tend to turn my brightness down and uh, this sometimes this case gets in the way of actually doing that so a lot of times if I'm out I will turn and it's auto correcting right now because I've got the 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 auto thing on but anyway I will often um, keep it turned low and it saves a ton of battery turning Wi-Fi off I can easily get 10 hours plus on my iPad Air and from the reviews that I'm seeing online is the battery life is about the same as the iPad Air can Cinti companion a Wacom companion five and a half hours the surface pro a lot of people have been giving me crap about buying the, the this device how do you like your surface pro at five hours of battery life okay so the thing is yeah that's not a problem if you have um, if you can uh, be tethered you know if, if you don't need it but uh, if you're ever spend a day in an airport and you're you know you're worried about finding you you see people that are sitting over there and all the outlets are taken um, and you can't get any juice it could be a problem for you you know you've got to make this you've got to start conserving battery power I don't like that I, I really like having a full 10 hours a full charge so that when I leave the house I just don't worry about it um, it really bugs me to have the the lower battery life so that's a big thing for me if it's not a big thing for you then that's that's fine um, cost so cost on this was uh, 800 bucks because I got the lower model plus 100 bucks for the pen so we're at 900 plus tax about 950 975 somewhere in there um, versus uh, the the companion uh, used and refurbished 1600 all the way up to I've seen on Amazon up to 2400 I don't know where you can get that for brand new somewhere I've seen 2200 I've seen 2400 I've seen right around 2000 um, so but I think you could figure on about double the cost um, for the companion uh, weight this one is 1.7 pounds the companion is a doorstop at four and a half pounds um, and to me that really matters when you're carrying that thing lugging that thing and not only that it's not just carrying it but when you're trying to hold it up and draw on it as a tablet and you got it resting in your hand you know like this your wrist and your I've used them your wrist and your arm start to wear whereas on this it's a third of the third of the weight uh, that to me that makes a big difference as well now again I'm not a I'm not an apple kool-aid drinker but just comparing to the companion, I already I'm seeing huge, huge differences. But the biggest thing, and I had a picture, but I forgot to bring it. But imagine if you I'm gonna just do this. I'm gonna go and get a new um, document. And if you look at Photoshop on a companion, this is this to me, this is the biggest thing. You've got your toolbar all up in this area okay and this is the thing that whenever people are I'm talking because on Facebook people have been giving me so much crap about wanting this thing these Apple haters right and what they won't tell you is now they've got this toolbar down the side that takes up this much space and then they've got a palette over here all their brushes and things like that and sometimes they've got layers sometimes this whole area is blocked off right now gee I wonder what size is this now hmm it reminds me of something more like that right there and that was not big enough for me I wanted I always wanted a bigger iPad 
Um, well, now I have it. And the thing is, when you use a lightweight program like Procreate, uh, and you can use the auto hide feature, so um, you can go into settings and it's, I don't want to find it now, but it'll even auto, when you're drawing, it'll auto hide these controls so you get the absolute full um, drawing surface. And to me, that's a huge difference to be cut down to this size right here. Not to mention, when the palettes are this small, if you compare that to a desktop version, you've got these little itty bitty, they're probably smaller than that, that it's hard to hit the actual tool that you want. It's hard to actually see the actual things. Now, I am going to be 50 years old soon, and my eyes are going, but from everybody that I've talked to, the companion is pretty small when you get down to the actual drawing area that you have to work on. Okay. Okay. So, um, back again, and I'm going to just talk a little bit about file size and why I, this is not the only device for me. Okay. But first let's talk about file size. So here's a file that I uploaded. Now this is the, um, I'm just going to go in here and this is a big file. I'm going to turn on this layer. So this is the painting that I did in Photoshop. It's very big, very detailed. If I can zoom way in here, it's still not pixelated. That's my texture that you're seeing. It's not, I, I can see pixels right there. So that's how big it is. It's 8,000 wide uh, by, still not pixelated. There's pixels right there. 8,000 by about 3,000, I think. Let's go back to the gallery. Uh, th 3,800 pixels uh, tall by 8,000. And with that, it'll allow me to have about 15 layers. So a lot of people have been asking that. One of the reasons why I say you can make this your only device is simply because now you can have these huge files on here. So, and you can have a lot of layers. And with you, if you do the retina um, size, you can have like a hundred layers, you know? So um, that's not a problem. Uh, when, I, when I look at this, um, what I did was I tried to recreate my process. I can do the underpainting. I can do a lot of things, but I don't have all the tools that I need to make it completely my style. I can get a lot of texture in there still um, using the, I'm using basically that chalk um, uh, that they have in the end of the drawing um, using this shading graphite to get this texture in here. Um, and I did this really fast. So if I had, if I spent the time, I know that I could get, knowing that I can go to this level right here, which I probably only spent a half an hour on this um, painting, however, took me about 20 hours. So um, if I put the same amount of time in, I could make it look pretty good but I, could, I don't have the same level of control that I do on the Cintiq. So I'm gonna, this is gonna be ghetto, but you know, if you follow my channel, you know I go ghetto sometimes. This, I'm just gonna yank my, um, my webcam down and show you this setup. I got my camera right there. Um, I've, got, I've got a screen there, I've got a screen there, and I've got my Cintiq down here, right? So I'm, I'm working on three screens when I have this turned on you know, this is my drawing surface down here. And then I have a, a screen up here that I can use for um, reference and email and all kinds of stuff, pulling things off the web. And then I have this screen over here that I can use to put Netflix on. So why would I give up everything to have one tiny little device where I can't have reference or it's gonna be hard? It's just It's just harder to work on a smaller device it's much easier to have more space now the reason I say I could work on this and this could be my only device is if I was on a really strict budget and I had just enough money to buy one device this might actually be the device that I would buy um, now a lot of people have said really nice things about the um, uh, what's it called the Oh, I can't believe I'm forgetting the uh, that Android tablet that Mel Milton uses. He's going to kill me for for forgetting <laughs> the the, uh, the Note, um, the Samsung Note. And um, sorry, you're seeing my my whole setup. Look at this is really interesting. Look at this. I've got this thing hooked to the ceiling up there, and uh, then I've got zip ties so it comes down to my camera right here. 
anyway cool stuff huh so um yeah so that's the thing for me is i probably you know i probably wouldn't want to use this as my only device but if i had to i definitely could it's really nice it's really nice to draw on um you can you can make big enough files i don't see any reason why you couldn't use this um to create artwork for children's books and send it into publishers and send it into your editor so it gets my seal of approval there however it would not be my my choice i wouldn't want to give up all that i have um so yeah so the rest of the time i'm just going to do a little drawing and maybe i'll set it to some music so thanks for watching if you want to keep watching the drawing i'm going to try to take one um fairly far um, and what i'll do is i'm just going to upload the um the recording from um from procreate for that because i'm going to take a little bit longer to do it so it has a little instant replay here that i can do so i'm just going to do that and i'll put it at the end of this and um anyway thanks for watching